But more importantly, we have Dr. Kaufman on today. He is an orthopedic surgeon, and he's a good friend of both of ours. And I don't think I've actually called you Dr. Kaufman before. So I'm going to stick with Jason unless you would prefer otherwise. So Jason, welcome on the show. And do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with you calling me Jason. Okay, good. That would be really awkward. <laughs> I'm going to only say Dr. Kaufman, no. just for the record. Yeah, we're getting it all out right now. Good. I'll also take Dr. Jason. Yeah, I'm in uh, doing orthopedic surgery. I am in year four of five for residency training. For those less familiar with kind of the whole process of medical school and, and doctorhood and all that stuff, everyone has to go through undergraduate degree and then medical school, which is four years. And then at that point, we become a doctor, we get our medical degree and uh, go through residency training. And that varies based on the specialty that you have. I chose orthopedic surgery, that's the bone and joint doctor. And uh, that specific uh, training is five years long. And then the option to do another year uh, of fellowship training, which is subspecialty to that to the specialty. Are you gonna be doing a fellowship? Yeah, I plan to. Uh, I'm planning to do a hand fellowship. So that's specializing really anything hand to the shoulder. Some people do less shoulder and really focus on the hand, but I, I don't know exactly what my practice will look like. I have watched Dr. Strange and that's what he did. So you, I think you are on the path to greatness and magic. He was a neurosurgeon. They just focused a lot on his hands because they were super important. So you're almost there, Andrew. Almost. Dang so it. close. I should have watched that movie twice. I wonder if I was drinking when I watched it. All I remember is his hand. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because it was just his hands that got messed up. And they couldn't mm -hmm. do surgery. Oh, so Jason could have saved him. Huh. Okay, before we go into it, because I think a lot of what we're going to probably talk about is the process and all the different things that come with in what most of us see as a pretty high tier profession to a lot of people that's a, a really high profession to achieve. So before we get into that, though, I've met a, a few doctors and they seem to be very identity oriented towards being a doctor. So is there anything that you also add on to that identity where you're like, I'm a doctor, but don't label me like that. I have this or X, Y and Z that you would rather focus on your achievements or is it you're really proud of going into orthopedic surgery and that's kind of what your identity is wrapped up with sure so i think that it has to be a large part of your identity just the amount of time dedicated to it but it's certainly not my only identity i, I have a lot of uh, other things that i enjoy outside i'm a husband uh, a new father and those are things that i put priority over my career but certainly it encompasses those things uh, as a part of it because you make sacrifices uh, no matter what you do. There you go. I like it. Yeah. And so one thing I wanted to ask about and just hear you talk about that's kind of wraps up both being a doctor and, and then being a husband, being a dad is you're not the only Dr. Kaufman in the household, right? What is that? How has that looked in managing time? And you've said being a doctor is uh, it wraps up a lot of your identity. How do you manage that with not just yourself, but both you and your wife? 